welcome to Breath of Life Art Studio. I'm Josh Foreman, and uh, this month we have kind of a special celebratory um, project for my celebration, not yours. Sorry, it's my anniversary. Uh, to this woman right here, ladies and gentlemen. This is my wife, Heather. We have been married for how many years now? Eleven and a half. Ele ten years. We're gonna wow. say, oh. we're, we're rounding it down to 10. Okay. We've been married 10 years <laughs> as of the beginning of this project. And so, uh, yeah, let me just tell you a little bit about Heather real quick. She plays this beautiful piano. She just improvises, listen to this, just listen. I'm really good. She's really good, guys. Yeah, she's awesome. She also takes these amazing photographs, just like on her phone, and then puts fun filters, and look how cool they are. And and at some point, we're going to find a way to like package these in a product for people and put it on a website. It's gonna be rad. So yeah, look out for that. Besides being like super creative and fun and quirky and funny and beautiful and all those things, she also creatively collaborates with me, like this crazy AI love story video. And I was like, hey hon, this would be really funny. You should do this really random dumb thing with me. <laughs> and she was like, I guess. No, it was fun. Go watch it. It's fun. We'll still be here. Okay. And, uh, oh, the other thing, the other thing that makes her perfect for me is that I often come in from the garage smelling of primer. <laughs> and, and do you like the smell of primer? I kind of do. Yeah, it's weird, <laughs> huh? I should just use it as cologne. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so, yeah, th that's Heather, now you know, and, and now you'll understand why. For our anniversary, I didn't want to do some just boring traditional thing like, here's some flowers, or let's go to dinner, or like, here's an expensive diamond ring. She doesn't even like expensive jewelry. Anyway, point being, speaking of rings, so I wanted to do our hands together, right? But, well, you probably guessed from the thumbnail of this video that this has to do with live casting hands. And so uh, I thought it'd be cool to do something. Look, I'm not even wearing my ring. I know, I was just thinking, I was like, <laughs> wow. I just put lotion on, so I don't really know. Right, so sometimes when we feel like we're married, we wear our rings, mm -hmm. but not when we're lotion-y or doing art stuff. Anyway, Eight. <laughs> right, so our, so our, our sculpture has our rings in, in the sculpture, and it's cool because, like, I designed the rings, like, custom made them for us, and so this 10-year anniversary thing will have our hands, the number 10, and our rings, and how more personal could it possibly get, right? So, God, you are so lucky to have me as your husband. <laughs> Man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, go away. No. Okay. Uh, wait, uh, mm. okay, here's here's the only thing left to do is... I have notes here. Um, oh, the only thing left to do is to, to change into crappy clothes to start out. Oh. No. Oh. Off camera. Oh. Right now? Okay. Okay. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do now that we've got sloppy clothes is do uh, like a dry run. But it's wet, so it's a wet run just to see how much volume we're displacing. Yeah, stand, stand over here. How much water we're displacing with our hands. Okay, and now we are going to mix up the allergen. Putting on some lotion. Okay, now we're gonna put our hands in slowly. I'm trying to, we wanna do it in a way that doesn't get lots of um, cavities inside. All right, uh, that doesn't look good. Let's see how much came off on your ring. A lot came off on mine. All right, well, well, we'll give it a try. Pour it in slowly. I'm gonna try not to have it. Um, you don't want to just like dump it in super fast. You want to shake it in to make sure it gets in all the little cavities. Give it some good tapping. All right, now I've broken the pieces out. This is one of those molds where it actually gets destroyed when you're done. And here we go. 
and it's a mess. It's got like a seam here. Why is there a seam? I don't know. There's bubbles everywhere. This is just really, really not what you're supposed to get. I could go and get a, a kit like at, at the hobby store and redo it. But actually, I just kind of want to show you how to how to fix up one that doesn't look so great. So here's my ring. You can see it's got all the alginate caught in there. And that's why it turned into a big blobby mass. So just going to clean that off. And this is what I'm going to do with the bubbles. Just basically pop them off with this little tool. I'm going to have to just completely remove the rings, I think. And I'll just have to rebuild them from scratch. Anyway, I'm using this stuff. This is an epoxy clay. This particular kind is called FX clay. You just roll like a 50-50 mix and it hardens in a couple hours. So I'm trying to fill in most of the voids, uh, re-sculpting fingernails that are broken and stuff like that. Okay, now I'm going to make molds of my rings. So I start by filling them with clay, all the little cracks, so that the, the mold material doesn't get stuck in there. So this stuff is called clean clay that I'm pressing in there. I've got a whole tutorial about making molds you can check out. Um, I'll post a link here. I printed out this X, which is also the Roman numeral for 10. I thought it looked cooler than like just a regular number 10. Okay, now I want to position this in such a way that you can see both the rings. I kind of want a front. Alright, now for this ring, the reason that I cast these in clear was so this, this jewel, you know, there's a diamond in the middle and I wanted it to, to look like a diamond. So I'm using this aluminum foil to back it so it'll reflect the light through it. See how, see how shiny it is? I smell so primary now. Oh, and here we see um, if I'm ever like really hungry, I can cut off Heather's hand and my hand and stick them in a plastic baggie and have them for lunch sometime. It's good to know. All right, using this hammered spray paint, hammered metal paint, and it just gives it a bit of texture. Okay, so I'm gonna use some Silly Putty, mask off all the area that is not going to be silvery chrome, which is what I'm gonna be doing over all of it, except for the black base. Now I'm using the spastic stuff. Uh, I don't think I've used this before. Someone recommended it, so I'm giving it a try. It's supposed to be mirror chrome. And you do a bunch of uh, very light coats. All right, let's see what we got. All right, so there you have it. The final beautiful 10th anniversary thingamajig. Um, I hope it inspired you to do more personal gifts for people. Um, I hope that it didn't terrify you from doing life casting. Trust me, it's not usually that hard. Again, just had to do with the crappy 15 year old materials I was, I was using probably. And uh, yeah, do fun stuff. Tell me about it. I want to see pictures and links and stuff to the cool stuff you make. And we'll see you next time. Bye.